Hello FPL managers to another video where we discuss together all the updates and tips ahead of Double Game Week 7. Clean Sheet Odds Man City travel to Strugglers Wolves this week. They will fancy their chances of keeping a clean sheet having conceded the least goals last season, 33 as well as keeping three clean sheets in their opening six games. Wolves, however, have scored in every game bar one versus United so far this campaign. Everton will be hoping to build on their form in the last couple of games with the first clean sheet of the season against newcomers Luton. Despite having a double game week, they have scored just two goals this season. This is maybe the last chance for Pickford. Arsenal make their way to the vitality in the hope of keeping their clean sheet form away from home. Remarkably, since the start of last season, they have kept 15 clean sheet with 12 have coming on the road. Newcastle host Burnley at St. James Park this week on the back off to impressive wins against Sheffield 8-0 and Man City 1-0 in midweek. If you don't have any one of their defenders, it's not too late. Chances of scoring over two goals. Newcastle scored eight goals in game week six. They host a Burnley team that conceded 13 goals in five Premier League matches despite playing four of. They're at home. Man City have scored eight goals in three home matches so far this season. They have scored 13 goals in their last four visits to Molyneux Stadium. Arsenal have won their dual away matches so far this season by 1-0. They may have to rely on Jesus, Inkataya and Havertz in their attack this game week as Martinelli, Trissard and Saka are all at out. Sheffield United have conceded over two goals in their last five league matches. Good news for Bowen and Ward Prowse owners. Goal scorer odds. Holland has 71% chance of scoring against Wolves this game week. We will be disappointed if he scores less than two goals. Morris, Hamduni and Adebayo feature in this list only because they have a double game week. Players nearing a one-match ban. Anthony Gordon 5.6 million pounds is in a rich vein of form. Has favorable fixtures on his side and may be down a positional rival after Harvey Barnes 6.4 million pounds. Picked up a toe injury on Sunday. But he's also sat on for yellow cards one booking away from a ban. Bruno Fernandes 8.4 million pounds is a notable name on three yellow cards, while Ben Chilwell 5.6 million pounds has joined this group after being booked in each of his last three appearances. Lucas Paqueta 6 million pounds, who has committed more fouls than any other Premier League player this season 14, is also two bookings away from a ban. Jackson will return from his one-match ban in game week 8. Malo Gusto 4.3 million pounds, Rodri 5.7 million pounds and Jean Ricker Bellagardi 5 million pounds will not be available until game week 9 after their straight red cards at the weekend. Lal Foster 5 million pounds, sent off for violent conduct last Monday, has served the second match of his three-game ban in the Carabao Cup. He'll miss the first half of Burnley's double game week 7 but return for the second fixture against Luton Town next Tuesday. Top transfers in. Trippier. Is this the return to first half of 20 to 23rd Trippier? The bonus points magnet with points potential at both ends of the pitch. Hard to tell, but he's nailed on set pieces and has great fixtures. An easy transfer from Chilwell too. Son, a real feast or famine play this season with only two returning games but an average 17 points. In those games, is he a must-have for the Luton match in game week 8? Botman, possibly one who's caused a lot of early transfer headaches after a well-flagged price rise. Early in the week, 21 points into games is certainly solid for a 4.7 meters defender but will he play? Morris, Luton have only scored three goals this season, but Morris has scored two of them and assisted one. A double game week against two relegation contenders this week yes. Everton belong in that category, worth a punt if you are planning to activate your wildcard in one. Of the next two, Mitoma for returns out of six, including two in the double digits, has been enough to make Mitoma the second most owned midfielder in FPL. Potentially a few tricky fixtures coming up though Bowen, Ward Prowse or Diaby are better. Alternatives. Top transfers out. Chilwell injured plus not a nailed starter anymore, so. And these are our top five replacements for Chilwell. Gusto. He will now be out for several games, not necessarily a priority transfer given the price, but a fair transfer out. Rodrigo, he will now miss two games. Taking up a Man City slot and 5.7 millions of your cash, he's an easy transfer out. Particularly given he's only returned in one of the last. Jackson, suspended plus out of form plus bad team form, easy sell. Rashford, averaging four points a game is not enough for an 8.9 millions midfielder and after two blanks. On the trot, 
more people are losing patience. What transfers are you making this week? And what do you think of the trends so far? Top 10 stats. Over the last four game weeks, Sun has returned the most FPL points 39 thanks to five goals from six shots on target for big chances and 1.83 expected goals. He has benefited massively from moving to a central striker role. Darwin Nunes has three goals and two assists in just 191 minutes. He has accumulated more expected goals to 0.6 of them Mo Salah to 0.5 and scored more goals 3 versus 2. The Uruguayan has received 8 of Liverpool's last 17 big chances. He could be a super differential as he is selected by only 12%. Kieran Trippier has created 12 chances only to behind Saka and provided a hat-trick of assists in game week 6. He has the best creative numbers among defenders 1.13 expected goals. Two big chances created and Newcastle's favorable run of fixtures suggest then more to come. No midfielder has received more big chances than Bowen 5 or bettered his 2.3 non-penalty. Expected goals, he plays Sheffield home next. Player versus team stats. Holland has scored for goals against Wolves into matches last season. Salah enjoys playing Tottenham as he scored 8 goals in 13 matches. He blanked only 4 times in those matches. Top 3 differentials. Callum Wilson, Newcastle 7.8 million pounds, although his playing time has been very limited due to injuries. And rotation with teammate Alexander Essig 7.6 million pounds. Only Erling Holland with 8 goals has found the net more times than Callum Wilson who has 4 bangs in his tally until this stage. Now that Newcastle is about to enjoy a kind run of games following some rather tough ones, this could be the time to invest in Newcastle assets such as their go-to penalty taker that is, none other than Callum Wilson. Jarrah Bowen, West Ham 7.1 million pounds. Only one midfielder has scored more goals than the four strikes, recorded by Jarrah Bowen so far. With the winger seemingly back to his goal-scoring form of two campaigns ago, his fine form will now be met by a favorable run of fixtures for West Ham, with two back-to-back -back home ties including the reception of Sheffield United this game week. Morris, a double game week sees the striker up against Everton and then Burnley H. Neither team have kept a clean sheet all season and Morris has notched up to goals and an assist already, making him the standout Luton player. He is also on penalties. Captain Picks, Holland away next at Wolves. They've allowed 98 shots on goal, 74 shots in the box, conceded 12 goals and kept just one clean sheet so far this season. Once again, don't overthink it, just captain him. Maris, I am only going to recommend a Luton player once this season for the armband and this is it. Sun, now playing number 9, Sun has scored 5 goals in the last 3 games. New Spurs manager Postacabla has got the team playing attacking football and they have registered the most shots in the league, 114. They face a miserly defense in Liverpool, however, who have only conceded five goals. Here are the most owned players in the top 1,000. How many do you own? Let us know in the comments. Now let's head to team by team predicted lineups.
That's all folks, thank you for watching, we will leave you with some FPL memes from last game week. Enjoy!